Guys, sa so module 1, ito yung mga topic na i-discuss natin. Pero hindi ito supposedly i-discuss ng napaka-detailed, okay? Because uh, uh, we only have usually one hour, okay? So we, I am going to introduce the subject and I will also introduce that this is a psychology subject na hinaluan ng ibang mga disciplines such as philosophy, sociology, and uh, other anthropology and other social sciences. And then uh, we are going to highlight the importance of self-understanding. And then there is an essay here, which is your assignment. Uh, I want you to read that essay and I want you to understand that essay. At the end of this lesson, I'm going to ask you uh, to tell you what to do with that essay. Uh, that will be graded heavily, 15% yon ng grade niyo pag pinagsama-sama. And then in history of uh, the thought or the development of man's thinking, we transition from mythos to logos. I will be explaining that. My former students already know what mythos and logos are in uh, my uh, subject with you in philosophy of man. And then the first empirical attempts in understanding the self, we're also going to discuss how uh, in the transition from mythos to logos, men have uh, subjected the cosmos into a, uh, an inquiry, okay? So the subject understanding the self replaced the subject general psychology in college. Okay, it replaced general psychology. Uh, it used to be general psychology that is being taught in all, in all, uh, in all courses. However, meron din kasing topic tungkol sa understanding the self doon sa mga subject na anthropology, sociology, uh, philosophy. So ang ginawa ng CHED, para hindi masayang yung mga topic na nandun sa bang sciences, ay pinagsama-sama sila sa isang subject na tinawag na understanding the self. Understanding the self. Now, uh, of course, hindi lahat ng mga bagay ay uh, may puro positive. So, ang naging negative dito, dahil masyadong marami mga topics na pinagsama-sama, ay nangyari, very in, uh, naging incomplete or naging uh, shallow yung treatment ng discussion sa mga topic. So, when uh, the school asked me to um, come up with or to design the modules for this subject, for the modules for online learning, I decided that I would incorporate those uh, topics in general psychology uh, sufficiently because I am afraid that uh, those who gain incomplete knowledge or little knowledge is going to uh, it's going to be dangerous in your life. There is a saying, uh, little knowledge is a dangerous thing, but there is something worse than that. An incomplete knowledge is destructive. Yun bang only half of the picture yung nalaman mo. Hindi mo alam yung kabila. And then nagbigay ka na ng judgment mo, nagbigay ka na ng conclusion mo. So, uh, that can be very destructive. Now, there is a... Uh, a textbook for understanding the self uh, na available sa Rex Bookstore. Uh, understanding the self by Eden Joy Alata. Okay? It's up to you if you're going to buy this textbook. It will help you if you can buy the textbook, but I do not require it. I do not require. So, it's up to you kung gusto ninyo magkaroon ng textbook. Otherwise, it's okay because most of the topics are already included in the module. As you will see, the module would be quite lengthy. Some, some of the modules are would go as much as 50 pages long and some others are uh, at the average 20 pages, 30 pages. I did that in order to give you a complete reading materials and complete, complete, uh, complete explanation. So doon sa modules na, na, na mababasa ninyo, mapapansin ninyo na ako talaga yung nagsasalita. Doon sa mga in-between, sa mga nakakapi paste doon sa mga kinuha ko sa ibang textbook at sa sa mga websites, in between doon, pagka nagpaliwanag ako, talagang ako yung nagsasalita doon. And you are going to recognize that because that's how I speak. Uh, the way I speak here is also the way I speak in in my writings. Alright, so here, uh, you will see that I uh, also incorporated the hyperlinks or the web links in order for you to have the choice whether to read it through your module or read the the assigned readings through the website 
it is better if you are going to use the website because in the website, handon yung mga hyperlinks eh. And uh, if you are going to click on the hyperlinks, then you will be able to expand your the reading materials. Okay? So, we have 14 modules in this course. 14 modules. This is module 1, which is introduction to the subject. The following modules, modules 2 and 3, will deal with philosophy, how philosophy tried to answer the question about man or the question about who man is or the significance of man's life okay and then the rest will focus on general psychology and uh, uh, how it is related to the different issues about man okay so that's module one module two so uh, sabi ko nga, this mo uh, the second module will focus in philosophy and particularly uh magsisimula tayo sa the pres presocratics Presocratics, ibig sabihin, the philosophers who came before Socrates. So, ito yung mga uh, Ionian philosophers, particularly in Milesia, sila Thales, Anaxi, Anaxi, Anaxagoras, Anaximenes, Anaxalabas, Anaximander, walang Anaxalabas, Diyos lang yun. Okay, itong mga philosophers na to, they look for the RK or the quintessential substance. Mamaya pag-uusapan natin yan. Okay, and then dumating ang, bago dumating sila Socrates, nagkaroon din ng mga group of itinerant, uh, itinerant uh, professionals who are uh, good in rhetorics and argumentation. Sila yung mga sophists. Okay, they are very good in logic. However, the problem with them is that they use their their uh, capacity to be logical and argumentative as a, uh, as a, for a uh, something like a commercial value. Kumbaga ay uh, ginagamit nila ito uh, para, para i-promote ang isang bagay even if it is good or we, uh, uh, whether it is good or bad kung depende sa presyo, depende sa ibinabayad sa kanila. So regardless whether the subject matter is good or bad, they will create arguments to promote it. So, for the some of the sophists, uh, the truth is relevant. The truth uh, depends on the person who wants to use it. Okay? So, maybe that reminds you of today's lawyers, that some of the lawyers are having those would have those uh, would be defending criminals even though those lawyers know that their clients are really guilty they would really find ways to uh, prove that their client is innocent so parang ganun yung mga sophists all right now came that great triumvirate ito yung highlight ng ancient period this is the highlight of the ancient period the triumvirate Composed of Socrates, Plato, and Aristotle. So, para sa kanila, truth is truth and cannot be uh, relativized. Okay? So, you cannot, you cannot relativize truth. You cannot compromise truth for these people. So, Socrates was the teacher of Plato. Then, in his turn, Plato taught Aristotle. Now, these three people... Uh, became very influential in Western philosophy that most of the philosophies of the later periods, uh, in the medieval period, in the modern period, and in the contemporary period, you would notice that uh, their uh, way of uh, explaining things are anchored in the original ideas of either Socrates, Plato, or Aristotle. So sabi nga nila, all of Western philosophy are just footnotes of Plato, Aristotle, and Socrates. So, because this, uh, the understanding uh, these three is very important, dito ko, uh, isang module ang dinibote ko sa kanila. Okay? Isang module lang. Dahil meron akong ipapabasa sa inyo, isang napakagandang chapter sa libro ni Will Durant, The Story of Philosophy. Uh, isang chapter lang yun, huwag kayong magalala. I will ask you to read that. And uh, I know that you are really going to love that reading. Now, module 3, diba tapos na tayo sa ancient period, of course, then in module 3, we are going to deal with the medieval philosophers.
how the medieval philosophers ask the question kung sino ba ang tao, ano ang meaning ng buhay ng tao. And then ganun din nung dumating ang modern period. Modern period. At ngayon sa ating kapanahunan yung contemporary contemporary period. Okay. Now, in the medieval period, there are plenty of philosophers, but we are only going to focus on two philosophers to represent the medieval period. That's would that would be Saint Augustine. Uh, Saint Augustine followed the philosophy of uh, um, uh, Plato. So, medyo platonic si Saint Augustine. And another one was Thomas Aquinas. Okay, a great teacher of the church, a doctor of the church. And Thomas Aquinas naman, he followed the uh, line of thinking of Aristotle. Okay. Now, punta naman tayo sa modern period. In the modern period, I chose three giants of philosophy. The first one is considered to be the father of modern philosophy. Nagsimula ang modern philosophy sa kanya. Siya ay isang mathematician. Ang pangalan niya is René Descartes. Okay? So, para sa kanya, the truth is truth only if, it can, if this can pass mathematical precision. Okay? So, we will see how René Descartes answered the question or the problem about man. And then we also discuss David Hume, one, another favorite philosopher of mine, David Hume. Okay. And then uh, another one, uh, a giant in the Western, uh, Western period or Western thoughts, uh, that is Immanuel Kant. Okay. Immanuel Kant. Ito, personal akong tagahanga ni Immanuel Kant. Although, hirap na hirap akong intindihin yung mga libro niya. Yung Critic of Pure Reason, Critic of Practical Reason, pero talagang pinagtsagaan ko sila. Dahil napakaganda ng sinasabi. Okay? Uh, and then, we have the contemporary philosophers. Pag sinabi natin contemporary, guys, uh, ito yung mga philosophers who live in our time. So, we can say that contemporary philosophers uh, live in the in the 20th century and now in the 21st century. So, mga 1901 yon up to this day. Uh, I chose two. Dalawa lang para hindi mabigat sa pag-aaral. I chose Maurice Merleau-Ponty and Gilbert Ryle. Okay? You can do some advanced reading on this. And then, of course, I also dealt with uh, Eastern philosophy, the difference between Eastern philosophy, sila Confucius, Mencius, uh, actually it's Hong Fu Te, Meng Che, Lao Te, uh, that's how they are supposed to be pronounced. Pero tayo, we are pronouncing their names as Lao Chu, okay, Mencius, Confucius, okay. So, yan, so yun ang Eastern, and then compared to this Western. And how the thinking of the Eastern, uh, Eastern, uh, how this Eastern thinking and this Western thinking influence the development of man. So, makikita natin how man is, uh, how the culture of the Easterners and the Westerners are so different. It is because of the influence of the kind of thinking that prevails in that particular part of the globe. Okay. So, I hope you can follow me. Alam ko na mga matatalino kayo mga bata. Hindi lang basta mga madadaldal, matatalino din. Katulad ni Nino. Matalino yan. Oh. Grabe. <laughs> okay. So, module 4, the self in relation to the human nervous system and other physiological factors. May nagtanong, Sir, doktor po ba kayo? Marami nagkakamali na doktor ako because of the way I talk to people regarding medics regarding medical science because one of my favorite readings would be medical literature okay so uh, i am familiar with a lot of medical terms and the way the human body works particularly the human brain okay so here uh, in chapter in module 4 we are going to study the human brain the different parts of the human brain okay the fore brain the oxy uh, the the, uh, the occipital part of the brain, okay? Uh, the pons here and 
the midbrain here, kung ano ano ang mga function niya, and then of course, uh, the spinal cord, and how this would affect how this would affect the entire nervous system. Okay, the entire nervous system. So this is the intelligence of the human body, and anything that happens in the human brain and in the nervous system directly affects our behavior and our personality. Actually, there are some personality disorders or psychological disorders that are directly connected with some lack in the chemicals that are found in the human brain. So let's say, for example, that there is a lack of serotonin in your brain. Serotonin, okay? Serotonin is a neurotransmitter that are found in between neurons. So, kinakailangan lumulutang sa serotonin ang mga neurons eh. Pero kapag kakulang sa serotonin, the the what happens is nagiging uh, less energetic ang tao, less energetic and uh, sad. Okay? Sad. Mahina ang uh, kanyang ano uh, uh, sense of uh, happiness, so no? Kahit na masayang-masaya lahat siya, malungkot. Okay? So, these people are usually depressed. Okay? Usually depressed. So, our, our, our human brain is actually floating in some kind of liquid. We call this liquid uh, cerebrospinal fluid. Cerebrospinal fluid. Okay? So, uh, it's the same as the liquid that you ejaculate kapag uh, nagmamasturbate ka. Uh, it's the same liquid. Kaya pagka madalas ka mag-masturbate, nauubos ang cerebrospinal fluid at humihina ang pag-iisip mo, bumabagal ka mag-isip. So, alam ko pagka kayo ay uh, uh, nakatulala sa klase ko at tatanga-tanga, eh, alam ko na kung ano mga pinagagawa ninyo. Inubos niyo yung CSF ninyo. Okay. So, uh, serotonin. Okay. So what happens then if there is a low level of serotonin? Then ibig sabihin, yung depression mo plus your anxiety is a product of the physiochemical imbalance in the human brain. So how is it going to be treated? Kapag ka alam mo na ganun, then you know how you are going to treat yourself. You can now consult a psychologist or psychiatrist wherein the psychiatrist would usually give you a medicine that would raise the level of your serotonin. Para maging happy ka. So, usually, uh, the first level of treatment would be to give you an SSRI type of medicine. Maraming SSRI type of medicine. Ang pinakaluma ay, uh, ang pinakaluma dyan ay yung, uh, um, kalimutan ko eh, pero ang pinakabago, Lexapro. Okay, Lexapro. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, kung hindi tatalab yan after about one and a half years or two years, at uh, depressed ka pa din, papalitan niya ng SNRI. Ang SNRI naman, SSRI stands for Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitor. Ang SNRI naman ay Serotonin Norepinephrine Reuptake Inhibitor. So, medyo mas malakas ito dahil yung serotonin plus norepinephrine ang itataas niya. Kung hindi pa din, ay meron mga option pero mahal. Okay? In the United States, meron tayong tinatawag na transcranial magnetic stimulation. Okay? Uh, it takes about half a million pesos in, in Philippine money to undergo TMS. That's a 12 rounds of therapy. Okay? Kung hindi pa rin, final option would be electroconvulsive therapy, papa papa anuhan papa uh, the human brain will be electrocuted okay uh, this is usually effective however uh, this is the last resort because uh, common side effect of ECT is loss of memory and who wants to lose their memories okay pero kung talagang sobra sobra ang depression tao ay uh, pinipili na nila na mabawasan yung memory nila kesa naman sobrang lungkot ng buhay nila okay you understand so, the self in relation to the human nervous system and other physiological factors will be studied here. So, uh, sometimes, you will see na kung ikaw tulog ka ng tulog at uh, lagi ka nakahiga at uh, wala kang gana na gumawa ng kahit na ano, sometimes, isipin mo ang tamad-tamad mo at lalo kang madedepressed. Pero yun pala, 
uh, hindi mo kasalanan kasi yun pala is already a uh, result of some depletion in the neurochemicals in your body. So you have to understand that. O kaya kayo, you are going to be future parents at pagka nakita niyo yung mga anak niyo na hihila-hilata, hindi makatulog o tulog ng tulog o lagi na sa isang sulok lang, you have to, before concluding na merong bad attitude yung bata, ay isipin nyo muna na uh, he or she could be suffering from some psychological disorder. So, kinakailangan matulungan. Otherwise, baka makita nyo na lang yung uh, kapatid nyo o yung anak ninyo na nasa kisame at nagdikti na. Because uh, the, end, uh, the end of, uh, of uh, severe depression is usually suicide. Okay. Then, emotion and motivation. Emotion and motivation. Our emotions, okay, makes us act. Okay? Our emotions make us, emotions make us act. Uh, if we do not have any feeling, then we are not ganado, hindi ka gaganahan na gumawa. So, if you are passionate about something, then you will be inspired to do things, right? So, so there are different types of emotions and uh, usually uh, the major the major uh, category of emotion would be either a delightful feeling, delight, and another one is distress, okay? Distress. Either, either which, both delight and distress can make you act. Kung distressed ka, gagawa ka ng paraan, you are going to do some acts that will eliminate the source of distress. If it is delightful, then you will be motivated to do it again and again, to, to do the same act again and again that leads to delight. Okay, I hope you are following. Now, when we talk about emotion or feeling, we are not limiting, uh, we are not limiting this category to uh, feelings that, are, uh, that you feel in your heart, but also the feelings in the human body such as hunger, the need for sleep, uh, the need, uh, the, the drive for sex. Uh, what else? Okay, ito yung mga pinakmalalakas. Okay? So, hunger, you cannot, you cannot let, uh, you cannot just ignore your hunger. If you are really very hungry, sasakit ang ulo mo, manginginig ka, you really have to eat. Now, it, uh, history, uh, our experience tells us that you cannot just eat if you do not have money and you can only have money if you are going to work. Okay, so uh, hunger will motivate you to find job in order for you to buy food. Okay, so again, this feeling is a motivator for action. How about sleep? How about sleep? Marami sa mga bata, sa mga teenager, galit sa sleep. Okay, ayaw nang natutulog sa tanghali, ganon. Uh, gusto ay uh, nasa barkada. Pero, o lalo na siya sa gabi. Okay? Pero experience tells you that if you lack sleep, it is really very difficult to stay awake in the morning and to focus on your job. And so, you train yourself to, go, uh, to have a good sleep hygiene. Now, we are uh, so the same thing. Insects, okay? This is a very powerful uh, human emotion, okay? And some people are even committing crime in the name of sex. Have you heard about Pemberton? Okay, yung, uh, yung American soldier na, na nakapatay. Okay, makikipag-sex sana. Nalaman niya na yung makakasex niya ay mayroon ding lawit. So, napatay niya. Okay? And ngayon, pinakawala na, binigyan na ng pardon. Alright, so that's, that was Pemberton. So, kita nyo na Maraming nagagawa, no? You can even kill somebody because of sex. But because of sex, you can promote new life. Alam nyo why sex is very important and very powerful? In all organisms, it is really very powerful. Because it ensures the survival of the organism. Just think about it. Kung ang sex ay masakit, nako ay sigurado, ubos ang tao. Sino mag... Sino magkakagusto na mag-sex kung masakit yan? Okay. So, wala. Hindi na tayo pinanganak. Okay? Pero masarap ang sex. Kaya, at saka ang lakas ng desire for that. Ang lakas ng attraction. 
Kaya ayan, ang dami natin ngayon. Okay? Uh, now, there are biologists of hunger or the architecture for hunger, architecture for sleep and sex. There are some disorders. We are going to study them. Like for hunger, we have uh, eating disorders like anorexia, anorexia nervosa, bulimia nervosa. Okay. In sleep, we have apnea. Uh, we have insomnia. So we're going to study all these things. We have hypersomnia. Ito naman yung tulog ng tulog. Na merong uh, narcolepsy. Okay. Ito naman yung uh, gising, nagsasalita, biglang makakatulog. Okay, narcoleptic yun. And uh, uh, what else? Okay, kung may nakalimutan ako, babalikan na lang natin yan. Dreams, we are also going to talk about dreams here. How dreams are very important. So sex, okay, of course, the normal cycle of sex, the normal sexual cycle, we are going to study that. We are going to study also um, uh, masturbation, ejaculation, we're going to study uh, uh, normal sex and we're also going to study uh, abnormal sex, those things that are considered abnormal. And uh, of course, the dram some of the dramatic disorders about sex, like wanting to have sex with animals, uh, it's called bestiality. Ang gusto niya ay, ang gusto niyang kapartner unggoy, o kaya naman ay patay, ang uh, gustong makasex. Yan ang tawag naman doon ay, uh, okay, I forgot yata, uh, I forgot, okay. So, babalik yun, okay? Uh, oh, bakit ko nakakalimutan? Nakakabuisit. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, uh, finally, uh, we're going to have a, uh, a longer uh, discussion about love because this love is the most powerful motivator of them all. So love between parents and child, love between friends, love between uh, God and the world, okay? So those are the different relationships about love. Now in, uh, chap in module 6, we are again talking about the physical self and the sexual self. So hindi ko na yan i-discuss dyan, okay? Para hindi naman tayo puro sexual, isasama ko na dito yan, okay? Pagsasabayin ko na ang discussion ng emotion and motivation sa kaya yung the physical and the sexual self. So we focus on to buy or not to buy and do not just dream, make it happen. To buy or not to buy, that is the question, deals with the question about uh, is our worth, uh, is this thing, are these things that I can buy something that would tell people how worthy I am or something would, that would uh, make me feel how good I am? Or uh, there is something deeper that there is some, there, there are there are more important things to consider rather than those things that i can buy the clothes that i am wearing so to buy or not to buy that is the question sometimes we are enslaved by the desire to accumulate things no uh, hoping that it would feel that kind of emptiness that we feel in ourselves or some kind of uh, feeling of inferiority or inadequacy so that's the psychology of that. Eh? When we feel that we are inadequate, when we feel that we are not strong enough or good enough, we try to mask those uh, feelings of insecurity by uh, buying expensive items or nice clothing and uh, displaying them around. Okay, Or uh, uh, instead of just uh, uh, drinking milk, tea that is uh, homemade and uh, kung minsan mas masarap pa, bibili ka pa sa buba o kaya ay sa Starbucks to buy or not to buy, okay? So, does that have anything to say about your worth as a human being? Okay? Those things that you were capable of buying? Uh, we have to ask ourselves that, okay? Sometimes, this is, the, this is one thing, no? I am now 54 years old and uh, uh, when I was younger, I would I really like to collect things, okay? But right now, I have been disposing of all those things, most of the things that I have collected because it became very diff uh, it became a burden to me already. And something that I learned in my middle age right now is that 
life life must be lived it should not be it should not be spent in collecting uh, memorabilia you have to live the moment alam nyo even taking photographs can rob you of enjoying the moment kaya yun parang buying pa din yun eh okay uh, i i i hope you are with me uh, kung namamasyal ka at selfie ka ng selfie at kuha ka ng kuha ng picture you are denying yourself the moment to really enjoy that particular moment i've been all around the united states twice from the east coast to the west coast or from the west coast to the to the east coast i traveled from california okay uh, middle uh, mid america to arizona uh, las vegas uh iowa iowa ah, napakaganda doon napakaganda do sa iowa and then i went to ohio cleveland particularly then i went to new york i went to sonora pero konting konti lang ang mga pictures na ginawa ko na kinunan ko why because i am trying to enjoy the moment I am breathing the air. I am embracing the cold wind. Okay, I'm really drinking it in. Yung mga picture ko, yung mga picture na nakunan lang sa akin ng mga kasama ko eh. Halos wala akong selfie. Alam niyo kung bakit? Yun nga. Magse-selfie ako, tipo parang ninakawan ko yung sarili ko ng moment para i-enjoy. So meron akong picture pero galing sa mga nag, nag uh, mga kasama ko o yung mga nagga-guide sa akin kasi Nag-travel lang ako mag-isa. Nagpunta ako ng New York, kinonta ko yung kaibigan ko doon. Oy, pupunta ako diyan ha, ipasyal mo ko. Punta ako ng Cleveland, oy, pupunta ako diyan, ipasyal mo ko. Punta ako ng Las Vegas, oy, pupunta ako diyan, ipasyal mo ko. Ganon, okay? Libre lahat. <laughs> Pakain, pati pumasahe, lahat libre. Dahil ayun ang masarap sa mga may kaibigan, okay? At saka yung mabuting tao ka, yung talagang uh, tapat kang kaibigan. Okay, gagantihan ka nila ng kabutihan din. Yun yun. Uh, that's my experience. To buy or not to buy? I am telling you the truth. Even a uh, refrigerator magnet, hindi ako bumili. Why? Karat lang yun eh. What is more important is the experience that I was able to drink the moment, to live the moment. Okay? And then another thing, do not just dream, make it happen. Okay? So all things are happening uh uh happening to us they start all of them starts with a dream however if you will just dream your life away nothing will happen so you have to start acting sensation and perception our senses is the gateway of the world to enter our consciousness now we have different uh degrees of uh sensitivity yung sense organs natin we have different have different degrees of sensitivity and so uh, different people would sense the world differently because of our degrees of sensitivity and some people do not have the complete sense the complete set of senses merong bulag merong pipi may bingi uh, uh, yung palang pagiging pipi hindi sense yon okay so then another thing that would differentiate us is our the way we are raised our world view our uh, world view is the way we see the world okay so that will uh, that will uh, influence the way we judge those things that the outside world is presenting to us through our senses okay so we may see it as ugly or we may see it as beautiful depending on how we are conditioned that's perception okay our perception usually is based on our biases our prejudices and our expectations that is what we call top down processing of uh, things that we sense top down processing meaning yung ating preconception yung ating mga iniisip ay we are imposing on the things uh, in the outside world meron din naman bottom up processing that is really very objective what it is what you see what is in there is what you judge to be now 
In order to get to have a healthy relationship with other people, we always have to consider the factors about sensation and perception. Then another thing, our perception and our sensation actually uh, builds up the entire gamut of our personality because uh, through this external stimuli, stimulus, we are actually building up ourselves, okay? Uh, just imagine a person who doesn't have any senses at all, okay? Lalaki siya, okay, magkakaroon ng mga limbs, okay? Paa, tuhod, balikat, ulo, okay? At uh, ano mangyayari? Pero wala siyang pang pangtingin, hindi siya nakakakita, hindi siya nakakadama. Ano experience siya? Nothing. Then you have to ask, what is going on inside the brain? Could there be anything that is going on inside the brain? If there is no stimulus, if there is no knowledge, I would imagine that this is that this could no longer be considered a person, but uh, just a lump of flesh and bones and blood. Okay. If there is nothing inside the mind, then how can we consider that to be a person? Okay? Pero hindi siyempre natin papatayin, ano? One of the few people who surprised us was Helen Keller regarding, uh, regarding going or transcending the limitation of sensation. And I want you to watch this, uh, the story of Helen Keller. Now, the title is The Miracle Worker because it was about the, uh, the teacher of Helen Keller who tried really hard to teach her. In spite of Helen Keller being blind, deaf, okay, imagine that. Kung ikaw ay bingi at uh, bulag, paano ka makapagsasalita? Paano ka din matuturuan? Wala kang naririnig, wala kang nakikita. And at first when Helen Keller was young, she acts like an animal, a wild animal. But there was this woman who tried really hard to get to connect with Helen Keller. And this is a really very touching story. So, kasama ito sa module 7, makikita niyo, there is a link there on the movie about Helen Keller. Of course, we do not have time to watch the movie about Helen Keller in this, in this lecture. Okay, learning and memory. Now, we are what we are because of what we know and uh, what we uh, remember, of course. Okay, so everything that is in our brain are actually uh, very influential to our, to our personality, okay? So here we are going to study about the different ways with which we learn. We have, uh, uh, we learn by observation and by a secondary observation, that's vicarious learning. Uh, we copy all those things and we learn from the experience of other people, that's vicarious. We also learn by consequences, that is operant conditioning, by consequences, whether it, uh, our action would have a negative or a positive consequence we learn from them. And then there, there is also some kind of associative learning, associative that is called uh, uh, classical conditioning, which we are also going to study. Now, uh, all these things that we learn should, be, uh, should become part of us and it, is becoming, it would become part of us because of our memory. Now, memory would uh, include memories of our life, Okay, and that is called episodic memory. Okay, memories about what we know, our knowledge, that is known as semantic memory. Semantic memory and memories about uh, uh, actions, okay, like our skills, like driving, okay, driving or karate or dancing, that is called, those are called procedural memory, okay, procedural. So we're going to study all these things. We are also going to study uh, sense memory. Okay, yan napaka ikli ng sense memory. Sandaling sandali lang yan, limut na. Pero uh, if you 
are going to focus on that particular sensation, then it will tr be transferred to short-term memory, which is your working memory, okay? For as long as you need uh, that memory, it will stay in your work uh, short-term memory, okay, while you are working on it. And then when you no long when when you no longer need it in your sleep, those are going to be stored. Some of them will be stored in your forever memory or your long-term memory. Okay. Now, learning to become a better learner. This is one of the uh, objectives of uh, our of being in school. You know, that's the reason why you are being asked to do some research in order for you to get to learn things on your own. Because in our lives, this is going to be an endless learning process. We don't stop learning. If we are going to stop learning, we are going to become obsolete. Especially you guys, you are going to study computer programming. Okay, computer technology. And technologies are changing. Okay, changing day by day by leaps and bounds. So, kung... Uh, tamad kayong magbasa at tamad kayong mag-aral ng panibagong mga software at applications, then sandaling-sandali lang, obsolete ka na. So, learning to be a better learner will tell you or will teach you the different methods in order to accumulate knowledge and the right kind of attitude. Then, we have human development theories. There are different uh, stages of development in man and uh, different things that are the being developed in us. Like the way we think or process information, that is cognitive stages. This is how we process information. This is how the way we learn. A baby, a toddler, a teenager, and an adult have different ways of processing information. Okay, so we studied that and uh, the psychologist was, the name of the psychologist who studied the cognitive stages was John Piaget, okay? Uh, we are just uh, doing some introduction to all the topics here. And then we have uh, moral development theories, moral. I, I think you already know this guy, Kohlberg, Lawrence Kohlberg. I don't know kung ano ang nauna, kung ang L or ang H, whatever. And then we have social skills, and that would be Ericsson or Eric Ericsson. Now, uh, knowing these things will help you understand yourself uh, in answering the question, why am I doing the things that I am doing now and why do I have the tendency or the propensity to do things like this? It, ah, yes, because it is now my psychosocial stage. And uh, because this is my psychosocial stage, then it is really natural that I am doing this or I love to do this, okay? So those are human development theories and uh, this will not only help you understand yourself, this will also help you understand others in, in, in your workplace, in the school, or when you are parents yourselves, pagka nagkaanak na kayo. Okay, now, uh, personality is another thing that we need to really know. And we are going to study how personalities work in angels. Sabi ko, wag maglalagay ng ano eh, ng line eh. Okay? Uh, uh, personality should be studied. And there are several, there are several uh, theories about how personalities are developed. But we are going to talk about uh, this one, the theory of Sigmund Freud about how personalities are developed. Okay? And then uh, we're go I'm going to give you a personality test be uh, based on Carl Jung and Myers-Briggs. Yun ay tinatawag na MBTI. So baka sakali na pagkanalaman ninyo yung personality ninyo at ma-define kung ano yung mga katangian ng ganong personality ay mas makilala nin ninyo at mas ma-appreciate ninyo ang inyong personalidad. Okay? Now, if we have more time with the five-factor theory, these ones, we are still going to, uh, we are still going to um, study, but uh, kung nagmamadali na tayo, ay okay na yon. So, the self in society and culture, we are going to uh, discover how the self is influenced by the society and the culture. So, we will find that the idea of the self is 
uh, very much uh, congruent with the kind of uh, uh, general idea of the people in that particular culture. And then, of course, the belief in the supernatural, because this is a uh, part of a grand narrative of grand narrative of any culture. Okay, so in every culture, there is a belief about supernaturals, and uh, if we are going to look at that uh, those supernatural beliefs, we will be able to have some kind of glimpse as to how these people are uh value things okay their value systems okay so for example uh the vikings okay the vikings para sa mga vikings ang uh impierno ay malamig nagyayelo because napakahirap para sa kanila yung experience ng impierno ng na ang experience ng lamig kasi all throughout the year laging malamig sa kanila so, talagang kalbaryo para sa kanila yung todo-todong lamig. So, for them, hell is uh, extreme cold. Para sa ating mga Pilipino, hell is heat. Kasi heat oppresses us in this country. Okay? Mainit ang kaligid. Okay? So, that our grand narratives are... Uh, 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 can, we can have a we can have some kind of clue and the uh, way we understand people by way of their grand narratives or their worldview or their archetypes. Political self, by nature, men are always uh, in the lookout for groups to join or to belong with. We are gregarious in nature. And as Filipinos, we like to form ourselves into group because we believe that in uh, in being part of a group, we are stronger. May kasabihan nga tayo na ang ting-ting ay mas matibay kung ito ay nakatali sa bawat isa pagka ito yung naging walis. Okay? Uh, hindi ko masyadong matandaan kung ano talaga yung kasabihan na yun eh. Pero ganun, the... the the idea of that kasabihan is uh, somewhere enclosed in that expression. And then, uh, being political and being Filipino, it is part of our lives to not allow ourselves to, allow, uh, to, to simply uh, uh, make ourselves part of the political process. Kaya kita nyo kapag election, ang tindi talaga ang mga meeting the avance, People are uh, going around and nagbabahay uh, Talagang uh, iniiyakan kapag natalo yung kandidato. Okay. Now, who am I in the cyber world? Your uh, cyber personality or your digital self usually is your ideal self. Ideal. Or sometimes, your suppressed self. Okay. Yun bang uh, uh, ito yung kinatatakutan mo na ipakita sa iba. Okay? Yung uh, na makita nila tungkol sa'yo. So, what do you do? Pagka sa suppressed self, usually people are hiding behind hiding behind fake accounts. Okay? And, uh, or maybe going incognito. Incognito. Okay? Para hindi makita kung ano yung ginagawa niya. So, the suppressed self is found in the, uh, is uh, being done incognito or represented by your avatars or your representatives in the ano. But the ideal self, ito yung gustong gusto mo na ipakita. Kaya pagka nag sa selfie ka o nag post ka ng mga picture mo about your status, yung the best uh, the best thing about you ang pinapakita mo. There's nothing wrong with that. But uh, knowing uh, your actions in the cyber world will aid you to understand uh, kung ano talaga yung gusto mo, your ideal self. And of course, uh, what are those things that you keep suppressed in you okay then we talk about psychological disorders uh you know uh for a very long time psychological disorder has been stigmatized and uh dahil dahil pinagtatawanan yung pagiging ah baliw baliw okay may sira may ang tawag natin may may krung krung okay may kring kring may tililing okay so, parang uh, katawa-tawa ang mga tao na merong uh, 
mayroong mga ano, mayroong mga psychological disorder. Now, sasabihin ko na kaagad sa inyo, right now, right here, right now, I have a psychological disorder and uh, for three straight years now, I am under psychiatric treatment. Okay. Now, do I look like baliw or kring-kring or kahiyahiya o katawa-tawa? Pahala kayo. Pero ako, hindi ko kinakahiya ang sarili ko. Now, what is my psychological disorder? I have an MDD. MDD. Major Depressive Disorder. Okay. Yes. Kanina masaya ninyo akong kausap. Nag, uh, loloko lokohan tayo. Pero hindi nawawala yung uh, profound profound uh, loneliness dito sa puso ko. Okay? So, meron talagang profound loneliness na hindi mawala-wala at yun ay ginagamot sa akin ng psychiatrist ko. And I have been spending a lot of money for that. But uh, because my psychiatrist and uh, people around me are, are doing proper interventions for me, hindi ako sumapit sa suicide. Okay? And as a matter of fact, I am fully functional. I am fully functional. You know what? The president of the school is actually helping me here. Lagi niya akong kinukumusta. Lagi siya nakaalalay sa akin. He admires me. He values my work. He uh, he appreciates me because in spite of this MDD, I am functioning pretty well. So hindi isang kahihiyan, kundi ito ay isang kabayanihan. And a lot of people are suffering from major depressive disorder or some kind of other disorder such as OCD, that is obsessive compulsive disorder, and I, and that these people were able to uh, uh, to build uh, gigantic corporations like Bill Gates. Okay, Bill Gates and Jobs, my OCD and. Ginamit nila yung uh, psychological disorder to do something great, to do something better in the world. Yung Quanta Airlines was established by a person who has a severe OCD. Okay? So, when we talk about psychological disorder, we look at ourselves and find uh, do I have a psychological disorder or a kind of personality that uh, that borders into OCD or bipolar or depressive or manic depressive? Okay, so how do I make good use of this kind of personality or tendency towards this disorder? So, ang gagawin natin when we discover our psychological profile, if we have some kind of disorder or if we have some kind of tendency, ang gagawin natin dito is to turn this turn this into positive, okay? Positive. Manage it and make it positive so that uh, your disorder will become a gift. Okay, so yung MDD ko at anxiety ko, okay, yung pagiging malungkutin, MDD, Major Depressive Disorder, yung pagiging malungkutin ko, paano naging positive ito sa akin? Okay, this one. My open expression of love. Okay? Kailangan ko ng yakap at alam kong kailangan din ng tao nang niyayakap sila. And so I make it a point to make it in Yanga a norm and not something na nakakahiyang gawin. Di ba? Yung mga han dyan, nakikinig sa inyo. Okay. Uh, alam na alam nila yon. Okay? And sometimes, even those people uh, who really are 
uh, close already to me and know that what I am doing doesn't have any doesn't have any malice. I even hug and give a chase kiss, not on the lips, not on the lips, sa noo o sa pisngi. Okay? But pero usually sa noo. Okay? Because pagka yung kiss sa noo, parang kiss sa lolo o kiss sa lola yun eh. Okay? Para naman, hindi naman ako ma ma miss na uh, ma misinterpret no medyo nag-iingat din tayo so uh, that uh, major depressive disorder i turned it into a gift and so students are happy i know that they are happy that there is a teacher there who teach who, who who treats them na kaibigan kapatid anak sila okay another thing is that I learned to listen, okay? So, yun yun, no, no? I learned to listen. I become an empathic, empathetic uh, listener, okay? So, of course, the interventions are there, okay? And uh, how is it important for you to know the different psychological disorders? Because knowing them will help you notice if you are already undergoing a major psychological disorder and it will help you look for some kind of intervention less stress more care no pagka hindi ka humanap na intervention mas may stress ka okay and if you are uh, not stressed you can care more towards other people okay so that's why it's really very important so you